Hey everyone, so today uh, I'm just going to do a quick video on a really important subject that people don't talk about a lot, how to not wreck your guitar. If your guitar gets wrecked, then that's uh, obviously going to really affect um, you know, your progress because you won't be able to practice because you'll be sending it away for a repair. And I have seen a lot of guitars get wrecked over the years, I've had to fix quite a few guitars as well. Um, if your guitar gets broken, it usually can be fixed, but you know, it's never quite the same. So you want to keep your guitar in good condition. Okay, so when you leave your guitar, uh, when you're not playing it, you really want to have a guitar stand like this one, or something similar. This is called an A-frame stand, so there's a, uh, you know, various different types of uh, guitar stands that you can get. Um, I like this one, it can fold in and out, I'll quickly show you. So, if you want to stash it away, or take it somewhere else, makes it pretty convenient. The cool thing about this one, you've got this design here, so... What happens there is an acoustic guitar can fit in there and then it's got the um, the little dip in there for electric guitars so they can sit in there and stay nice and stable so that's a really good design so an a-frame guitar stand like that that's uh, those are the ones that I prefer so uh, I highly recommend them um, if you're like a little bit worried about the cost I would suggest that um, you know getting a guitar stand like that is going to be a lot cheaper than fixing or replacing your guitar if it does get broken Okay, if you don't have one of these and you're a bit stuck and you need to leave your guitar somewhere, please try to lean it into a corner, somewhere like that. That's relatively safe. Please do not leave your guitar leaning up against a wall like this. That's the most common way that guitars get broken. You can see it's not stable, it's just sitting there wobbling around. All it takes is a little knock, a little bump, or even someone you know, hits the wall on the other side of the wall in a different room and it just vibrates and it'll slide down the wall, it'll hit the floor and what'll happen is it'll snap quite often across there or around about there and like I said, they can be, they can be fixed but you really don't want to, you know, send it away for a repair it's going to cost you money and time so a guitar stand like that is best leaning it into a corner like that is second best if you don't have a stand yet. Okay. You can lay your guitar flat on the floor. That way it's not going to fall over, but you need to make sure that it's uh, you know not sitting somewhere where someone's going to come and stand on it. Okay, another couple of things you really want to avoid doing. Please do not use a chair or a music stand as a guitar stand. So leaving your guitar sitting up on a chair like that is not a great idea. Again, if it gets bumped, it's going to hit the floor and most likely it's going to get broken. Uh, you don't want to lean it up against the chair like that. You can see that that's not stable. It's just going to slide off. Especially don't lean it against a corner like that. It's really, you're really just asking for trouble if you do that one. And music stands are not guitar stands. It might look kind of convenient, but again, just a little bump or something. It's going to slide off. It's going to hit the floor and your guitar will be in two pieces, okay? If you are going to lean it into a corner, like I was showing you before, this is not the right corner to lean it into. You don't want to lean it into a corner behind a door. If someone comes through that door, the door will swing open, it's going to squash your guitar, and again, you're going to have damage. So that's not the right corner to lean it into, okay? So I'm just going to pop through to the garage now and show you some wall hangers, which are another good idea. Okay, so if you do have space in your house to mount some wall hangers for your guitars, these are great. And there's various different um, brands and stuff, um, but they're all basically doing the same thing. And so if you can mount that on your wall, you can just hang your guitar up there. It's really nice and safe. It's convenient. It's easy. Um, you know, you need to make sure that you know what you're doing when you install them. Make sure that that wall hanger is being screwed into a stud. Or in this case, I put the backboard on the wall. Okay, so don't just uh, don't just screw it into the drywall or the jib. Okay, so guitar hangers on the wall are a really good idea, or a guitar stand. And take care of your guitar, and have fun learning. All right, so that's today's lesson, and I'll see you guys next week.